don't miss this extraordinary opportunity. The world-famous Shenyun dancers bring classic Chinese dance to life. On stage at the Kennedy Center January 19th through the 24th. Come experience the brilliant choreography, gorgeous costumes, breathtaking backdrops and unforgettable music. Hurry and get your tickets now at the Kennedy Center box office or at shenyunperformingarts.org. I'm Kate. And I'm Avon. And I'm Sonia. Just give me a moment to say my name. <laughs> Today we're here at Wisdom, located at 1453 Pennsylvania Avenue Southeast. And today we have the Wig Man with us. The Wig Man's real name is Daniel Vovac, and he's called the Wig Man. A, a Why? Shocker. Why? Yeah, because I'm a Republican, and the Republican roots of the party are the Whigs. Except no one remembers that. That's true, that's true. And, and probably the Republican Party will morph into something else later, and then you will you be the Republican man? I'm not sure. But okay, so you're a Republican, and you're a screenwriter, as well as other things. But you have written um, a, what will be a phenomenal movie, I'm sure, when it comes out, called The Blue Dress. That's right. And, and to any I have no one idea in what Washington, this, well, I think about it. If you're, about. Well, exactly. That's the wonderful thing about calling women it the blue dress in Washington. remember the color of the dress. Mm -hmm. Men remember who was in the dress. That's so true. obviously. <laughs> and what was on the dress? Ew. Obviously, the, the story is about Monica Lewinsky. What gave you the idea for this? And it's a couple years now. Why are we still talking about this? Well, it's interesting because the blue dress and uh, Monica and Bill still make headlines. It doesn't really make sense, but if you're a person wanting to make money off of a movie, like I am, then you realize, well, audiences in Bangladesh and Taiwan and China know who Bill and Monica are, then they'll probably watch a movie about it. I got the word the blue dress, I've heard about it a long time, and I've had a lot of clients call me. But ultimately, I came up with an idea to write a movie called The Blue Dress, and it goes over the whole saga beginning with uh, when Monica's hired. Uh, the second act begins when uh, she and Bill meet, and things started pretty fast. <laughs> uh, the middle of the movie is when she's kicked out of the White House and she goes to the Pentagon. The third act begins when uh, the tapes are turned over and Matt Drudge reports it. Mm. But then the movie ends the day before it's actually exposed on the Washington Post. Because we sort uh, of know Washington what happened Post. after that, right? Yeah, it's, it ends the day everyone knows about it. So, so there's nothing political in it. And I have to tell you that Paula Jones is actually in the movie. The Paula Jones. No, really? The Paula Jones. Did you know this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that gets so what, is she so playing Monica Lewinsky? No, no, Monica, uh, uh, Paula's playing herself. Okay. And Paula wow. is young and beautiful. She's 43 years old. She's married, has three kids. Oh, wow. Still lives in Arkansas, about to go for her nursing degree, was a real estate agent for a while. And she's just Did young. she do a whole celebrity boxing thing? She did that as a fill-in because the other Tanya Harding, whatever, they, they left. So then so she, she was stuck. She stepped up to the so, point. But Paula's never been in a movie, never been in a she's movie, a never singer. done a book. She's a, she asked me to write her book now, so I'm thinking we're going to do that. But Paula's never sought fame about it at all. So she, is she the biggest star in your movie? Is oh, this, yeah. She's, she's been on the, Paula Jones has been on the cover of Newsweek, the cover of Time, the cover of People. She's been on Rush Limbaugh. She's been on Howard Stern. So how'd you nab her? What did you well, say I just, to convince I, I her? I called her and I was honest with her and I just said, hey, Paula, you want to We cut her in on the deal and she's in. So we're when we eventually film it, oh, she'll, it'll be a good movie for her. So so who are the other actors that you have on tap then? For your, because you said you're not in production yet. No, we're, not in we're, in, we're earlier stages of production mm -hmm. development. We're still in with it. And we've raised a fair amount of money. It's The whole budget is a million dollars. And I'm looking for my one big investor, but I have a couple people that are they're seriously considering. I have a couple signed investors already. One million, that's not, that's not a big budget. It's a little film. budget, but it's it's funny because the, the White House, if you've ever been in it, I, I've been in it myself, it, it's really ugly. I mean, it's a, it's a simple room. Like, it's all, wow. it's all like, white. It's really yeah, like, yeah, can't they yeah. redecorate on here? I mean, blue room, red room. Yeah. It's ugly. You know, it's like, they need to do some redecorating and in there. And you're a Republican <laughs> who wants to be fiscally and, and, and conservative no, no, with no, all no. of our money. It's well, like, yeah, I spend money on redecorating the White House. Yeah, anyway. It <laughs> it's, it's really in bad shape. I mean, it needs So to why be... this story? How, I mean, if you're wearing, you know, the George Washington, I'm guessing this is the George Washington wig. This is the wig wig. It depends. It depends. Well, actually, why... Oh, your question is what? Question. Why did you decide this story of a president? Well, I've actually written three other movies for pay, and this is my fourth movie. I've okay. written a number of books. I just picked up two clients in the last month as well. I do ghostwriting. I was going to ask you, yeah, I was a ghostwriter. I'm actually a ghostwriter, okay. which is funny because when I mention that to someone from Europe, they think I write about ghosts. Ghosts. <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> Not yet, at least. But I just do ghostwriting, and, and there's only a few ghostwriters in America. There aren't a lot of us, and I've made a full-time living on it, enough to live in Bethesda, Maryland. But don't you, wouldn't you prefer for people to know that it was you? 
you that wrote it? Because I gotta say, not everyone that has run for political office would want to put their words in someone else's mouth or someone else's pen. Yeah, but ultimately, you've run. ultimately, we have ambitions that are financial. We have ambitions that are popular or celebrity-like, and it's a variety. I, I try to be. I try to be. A fair and, and a bipartisan as much as people are, and ultimately all money is green. You just want to make some money. You want to make a movie. I do agree with that. And I want to make people laugh. It's a funny movie. Whose story is the hardest to tell? Of who and, you are. That, well, in the movie, the, the most difficult story to tell is definitely Paula's story. Paula Jones was is fascinating if you actually examine her more. Paula was a young girl working at the lowest level of of government in Arkansas. And the previous day to when she met Bill, Bill Clinton was on, on, on top of the world. He was in Cleveland, gave his major speech to the Democratic Leadership Council. He was just powerful. And then he comes back the next day, and he's in Arkansas, at his like $32,000 a year job called governor. And he's, he's lonely. In my movie, he's a lonely president. And at the time he was a governor, in this flash, little bit of a flashback, he meets Paula, and a, a police officer approached her when she was working said, uh, come up, she's doing like name badges or something in a hotel, takes her up to the room and within 15 minutes she was gone, she had no interest in it, and didn't tell the story to anybody. And then sure enough, uh, about three years later, uh, she was, uh, there was a, the, I think it was the New Republic had written a story saying that Bill had been with a woman named Paula, which is false. And someone called Paula and said, was that true? And she said, no, I didn't, wasn't with him, didn't talk about it, Paula did not brag about the story. And yet, sure enough, it got bigger and bigger. Interest groups got behind them. It blew up and came into what it is. Yet, you should know the only reason that Bill Clinton was impeached, the only reason, is because of the Paul Jones sexual harassment lawsuit. Yes. Who, will Monica, play, who do you want to play Bill in your movie? I have a guy that I think I'm going to hire for Bill. Uh, we've already done an interview. We did a casting at, uh, at AFI. What's that casting like? <laughs> yeah, what is that casting like? What do you ask them to do? We did a casting in AFI, and I will be in Sundance uh, in a couple weeks. I'll be down there, which is fun. Yet uh, we found someone for Bill that I think we're going to end up hiring. So everything's going to be—is it going to be filmed locally? I, I don't yes. know yet. I think we're going to be in D.C. and a little bit of Baltimore, but in this region. That counts. Okay. That's okay. That's, That's in the good. area. That's not like so I'm going to outsource to you know tr Toronto. Yeah, yeah. So no any, hey. any news yeah. on when we think we might be anticipating? I the could release be later this year. It could be late. My, I have another investment group I'm meeting with uh, in two weeks, and I think it can come together. So there's a group in Savannah. There's a group in Atlanta. I'm hoping that help me put pieces of it together. Georgia group. You know, they're well, just the South. You know, the <laughs> South. Well, all kinds of things going on in the district, political and otherwise, are always very interesting. And this is certainly something that before I'm sure. You, before you go, though, I, he brought a bag. And oh, that's right. right. Yes. I'm wondering what's I in the bag. I just wanted to say. It's a blue dress. It's oh. better than a blue dress. It's, oh. it's a bag. It's, it's a, a wig. wig. And on oh. top of the wig, I put inside of it, courtesy of Nelson Lewis, he said to put in there, a blue uh, dress business card. Uh, <laughs> nice. And thank you, Nelson, so for suggesting. So if you want to put it on, this is your shot. <laughs> I, I, thank you, Nelson, for suggesting Daniel as our guest. And thank you to Marlene for suggesting Wisdom as our place to shoot this week. If wow. you have suggestions for where we should film or wonderful guests doing wonderful things around or the city. Or what you should wear. what you should wear. This you should be wearing look. a wig. Make sure you're following us on Twitter at The District Dish or as our Facebook fan at facebook.com backslash The District Dish. See you next time.